So my dad is one of the most amazing meat cutters that I have ever seen. He was fast. I mean, really fast. He, he would cut you some of the most beautiful steaks and pork ribs that you have ever seen. I'd make your mouth water before they're even cooked. Just gifted. And you do not get skill like that. You do not arrive at a level like that without starting very young. And my grandmother, my mom, she told me that my dad started at four years old. Four years old. It was just four years old when he took his first butcher knife into his hands and he cut every single one of my grandmother's brand new upholstered kitchen chairs. <laughs> How many of you can remember moments like that in your childhood? Where when you stood and looked into the face of your mom and dad, you realized that your next birthday was in jeopardy. <laughs> you had moments like that in, it, it, with your children or maybe your, your grandchildren. You know, they, they, they just getting into stuff. And, and, but we, I mean, we love children, right? I mean, look at that little guy, right? We love children. They are cute and precious and funny. And ornery. And there are times that they really teach us lessons. Like we understand why animals eat their young. <laughs> we do. We understand that. But did you ever stop and think about what God thinks about children? Do you know that his word tells us that children are a gift from him? That he gives them to us as gifts. Now, I was going to say something funny like we try and send them back, but I don't think that's very nice. <laughs> Can't return those gifts. We hold on to them. But God loves children. In fact, Jesus, Jesus said something so crazy. His, his disciples are hanging out. And uh, his disciples come up to him and they say, Lord. Who is the greatest in the kingdom of God? And if you read it, it's in Matthew. It's in Matthew 18, verse 1. It says, about this time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And if you're reading that and you're, you're going, oh, well, obviously, Abraham or Isaac or Jacob or Noah or Elisha or Elijah or, 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 or David. No. Jesus called a little child, called a little child to him and put the child among them and, and it means he set him, set him right in the center. And then he said, I, I tell you the truth, unless you turn from your sins and become like, this, like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus actually held out children as the model and the example for us to go to heaven. I mean, think about that. A child's heart, a child's mind, a ch the simple faith of a child. That's how we enter the kingdom of heaven. That's how we please God. That's how we come into his presence as children. Jesus went on in verse four. He said, so anyone who becomes as humble as a little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Turn to the person next to you and say, there's hope for you. <laughs> I mean, when have we not wanted to be little children or when have we not acted like little children sometimes in our lives, right? But this is a different kind. This is humbling. This is relying totally on the Lord. He says, the, 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 the humble, uh, as you humble, sorry, so anyone who becomes as humble as a little child is the greatest in the kingdom of God. And verse five says, and anyone who welcomes a little child like this on my behalf is welcoming me. That shares with us something of what God thinks about children. What Jesus thought about children, he held them out as the example for us to actually go to the kingdom and experience the kingdom of God. And he said, when you welcome one of them, you're welcoming me. 
to turn that around when we hurt one of them. We hurt him. Break his heart. Today is about children. Today is about children, but not children like my dad who achieved, you know, wonderful things, serves God to this day. It's not about the, the cute ones or the, the amazing ones or the ornery ones that, you know, you think of right now and you're already thinking and laughing because you're thinking of the last fiasco they got into. Now, it's not about them this morning. This morning, it is about children who never get to become children. And it's about a ministry who fights every day to make sure that every child, as possibly as they can, as many as they can, have the opportunity to become children, that babies become children. That ministry is the Alpha Pregnancy Center, and I have the, the honor of sitting on their board as the chaplain, and I, I am humbled by that, truly, because I have fallen in love with this ministry. And I was trying to think of some way to introduce Bev and Sue, who are going to come and share with us about Alpha Pregnancy. Uh, Deb is the director, and Sue is in charge of the Earn While You Learn program, which we'll hear a little bit about. And I was trying to think of what's the best way to introduce them, because I don't want to steal their story, because I, I know some of it, and I love this ministry. And I still want to share with you why I love it, but I can't, because I'll steal their story. So here's what I'm going to tell you about them, these two ladies, and about Alpha Pregnancy. They love and serve Jesus first. Ladies, would you come? Push the button. Now? Ah, well, good morning. Uh, Sue and I are so excited about being here today because we love whenever we have the opportunity to thank our ministry partners and our donors face to face, we grab it. And as I look across the uh, congregation today, I see a number of you who pray for Alpha or who serve at Alpha or who support Alpha financially. So I am honored and humbled to stand here today and say thank you, thank you. And thank you, not only for what you do for Alpha, but what you do for the Lord. We are so, so grateful for your prayers, your service, and your giving. Now, I'm also going to begin by um, saying that some of you might not be familiar with Alpha at all. You've never been there. You've never heard of us. You're, you're new. And so um, I've decided that today I'm going to paint you a little word picture of Alpha Pregnancy Center and then give you a little history of who we are and what we do. So without further ado, we're going to begin the tour. As you step through the doors of our beautiful center, you'll notice that there's kind of an excitement in the air. There's an anticipation, an expectancy that lingers. But you know, there's also a calming sense that all is well. Our clients tell us again and again that when they walk through the doors, they can, quote, feel the love. Well, the exciting thing for us is we know whose love they feel. And we sit there and we think, what is God about to do next? How will he use Alpha to change this young woman's life? Well, we're going to continue on to the first room to your left, and there you're going to hear the sounds of laughter, chatter, and coos because our alpha moms and babies are gathering for their Earn While You Learn classes. And I will tell you, it gets a little crazy in there from time to time. There are days where we have six moms and about 600 children, and they're hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> but here in Earn While You Learn, they're going to learn the skills that help them to be the best moms that they can possibly be. These moms are going to make friends, and they grow to love their mentors as their second mom. They're going to hide God's word in their heart as they memorize scripture, and they're going to learn to love and to trust again. 
Here are moms come to know, without a doubt, that they are not alone. They know that we love them, and they know that God loves them. Traveling a bit further down the hallway, you're going to arrive at our laundry and our storage room. And in this room, you're going to find diapers and wipes and toiletry and formula and sweet little baby clothes, pretty much everything that our moms need to care for their children. And thanks to our amazing donors, this room stays well stocked in anticipation of all that our moms and babies will need. Thanks to our generous donors who continuously replenish this supply, we have all that we need to keep our sweet little babies warm, dry, well-fed, and styling. So if you move beyond the laundry room, you're going to discover our boardroom. This board room serves duty as a meeting place for our godly, hardworking, hands-on board of directors. Sue is on our board of directors. Pastor Donnie's on our board of directors. And it's in, and it's in this room that the visions and the dreams for Alpha's future are born and they're nurtured. It's here where the prayers are prayed, the sleeves are rolled up, and plans for tomorrow begin to unfold. And then tucked at the end of this hallway is a very, very special place where God works miracles, and that's our ultrasound room. This room is where our moms get to see their unborn babies for the very first time on a huge TV screen that's mounted right above the exam table. This is where a blob of tissue suddenly becomes a tiny little pair of hands, a tiny little pair of feet, and one tiny little beating heart. It's where the doubt in a frightened mother's heart is laid to rest when she sees her baby for the first time. It's where a mother's love for her child is often birthed, and statistics tell us that 90 to 95 percent of abortion vulnerable women who see their baby on an ultrasound choose life. Truly a room of miracles. Well, adjacent to the sonogram room, you're going to discover our counseling rooms, and this is where the journey often begins with a counselor. Here, through the hearts and the mouths of our counselor, God speaks truth and love to our clients. It's here where the hard questions are asked and where heartfelt prayers are whispered. Troubling doubts are laid to rest as our moms learn that there are positive alternatives to abortion. And this is where the seeds of hope are planted. Well, you're going to continue through the back hallway. You're going to pass the hustle and bustle and chaos of the offices. You'll pass through our little kitchen where we always have an abundant supply of chocolate and goodies, and some of them by our, your very own Miss Jewel. Um, we love to keep our volunteers happy. And then finally, as you turn the corner, you come across the heart of our center. And this is our office where our counselors pray together, work together, offer up their gifts and talents to serve. It's where they become the hands and the feet, the eyes and the ears, but most importantly, they become the heart of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the foundation of all that we do. Well, I hope you enjoyed our, your little tour of our center, and I want to extend an invitation to any and all of you to visit us in person. We love to show off our center, and we love to get to know you better. And I will tell you, if you feel God tugging on your heart to be a part of Alpha, you may want to keep it to yourself because we pray a lot of volunteers into the ministry. When we find out he's tugging, we start praying. But I also want to give you a little history along with some nuts and bolts facts about who we are and what we do. Alpha Pregnancy Center opened in 1985 in Town, Maryland. And that first year, we had 58 moms and two precious little babies. That first year when we opened, we offered only pregnancy tests and materials assistance. Our primary purpose was to offer our moms a positive alternative to abortion and a safe haven for women who were facing unplanned pregnancies. But we're going to fast forward to 2023. Do you need me to pick that up? OK. And today we offer our clients pregnancy tests, pregnancy counseling, ultrasounds, childbirth classes, earn while you learn parenting classes. And Sue is going to share a lot about them in just a moment. Materials assistance, post-abortion counseling, services for the Hispanic community, and community referrals for our clients. 
And I want to go down a little rabbit trail here just for a minute, post-abortion counseling. Um, whenever I get in a church family, I like to encourage people that we need to be open to the hearts that have been broken through the pain of abortion. You know, so often in, in this ministry, we find that even the women who've been through the abortion put all the sins in one basket, but they forget that abortion is there as well and that God's blood covers all of those sins. Jesus' blood on that cross was shed for every single sin, whether you've stolen a penny or aborted a baby. And what we found at Alpha is when that secret comes out of the darkness and into the light, the women are restored, and God uses that in incredible ways in the pro-life ministry. So please remember that all around you are what we call the walking wounded. It could be your sister. It could be your friend. It could be your aunt. It could be your daughter. They're all hurting, and they all need to know what they find when they lay that sin at the foot of the cross. Well, just for fun, I put together some statistics for all the years that Alpha's been serving the community. I found that since 1985, when we first opened our doors, we serviced and served more than 9,500 women. And the exciting part is that we welcome more than 2,200 babies into this world. Over the years, people find this interesting. Our clients have come from our own backyard, but we've also had clients from Mexico, Israel, South America, Central America, Africa, Pakistan. Our clients have been as young as 12 and as old as 45. We've ministered to atheists, Muslims, Christians, and Jews, and all have walked through our doors to find love, acceptance, hope, and most importantly, truth with a capital T. Thanks to our donors, all of our service, services remain free of charge. We raise all of our own funds, and we do this through our walk around town, our baby bottle campaign, which you all participated in and you rocked it, uh, and our fall fundraiser, which is coming up in October. We raise all of our own funds because as long as we do that, we are free to pray with our moms, we're free to give them Bibles, and we are free to refer them to local churches. Our church families like that we're affiliated with two national organizations, CareNet and NIFLA. They oversee together more than 1,600 pregnancy centers in the, in the country, and they hold us accountable for the highest standards for our clients. We're also accredited by the ECFA, the Evangelical Council for Financial Accountability. And we love this organization because they assure you that we are being good stewards of all that you've entrusted to us. Um, year to year, we find that 90 to 93% of our funding is used for client programs. So they keep us on target. But most importantly, Alpha provides us with the opportunity to introduce our moms and our dads to the love of Jesus Christ through our words and through our deeds. It's our hope and our prayer that all that we do and all that we say would point them towards a relationship with Jesus Christ. Well, one of the most exciting programs that we have at Alpha is Earn While You Learn, and we love this program. Um, your very own Sue is here today to share about that with you, and Sue, you really don't need any introduction. We all know and love you, so if you want to come up and share a little bit about Earn While You Learn, and then I will take it from there. Here, you got the, wait, a minute. wait a minute. Too many papers. Thanks. You're welcome. On <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Good morning. You don't know how excited I am to share a ministry that's so dear to my heart with my church family. It's really precious to me. I want to share about Earn While You Learn. <clears throat> Earn While You Learn is an amazing program that helps moms and dads learn about pregnancy, parenting, and life skills in a very godly atmosphere. It started at Alpha about 17 years ago, and I'd like to share a, kind of a little bit of a short history of the program. Bev and I seem to be into history this morning. After 11 years of counseling clients, I was pretty burned out. I, if a girl came in and had a negative test, we didn't see her again. If she had a positive test, she might come back on an evening that I wasn't there and I didn't get to see her again. I just felt like it was really difficult to form relationships, and that's really important to me. 
when Bev came back from a conference full of information about a new program called Earn While You Learn, I knew that was what I wanted to do. We started Earn While You Learn in one small room with one table of clothes, one 15-year-old client, and lessons mostly about pregnancy. From that small beginning, we have grown into seven classes with about 40 moms and a beautiful baby boutique called Bundles of Blessings. It's filled with everything that our moms need and that our babies need, and many lessons. The lessons cover uh, pre- and postnatal care, parenting, and life skills. Uh, these lessons help this young mom learn how to use her freedom funds more wisely. Uh, freedom funds, is what we have here, are alpha dollars that parent, uh, clients earn, and they can only spend them at alpha. Um, this little girl that was 15, her name was Jess, and she was, knew she was having a girl. And every single week she came in, she bought a pink dress. I think she thought she was going to be dressing a baby doll. And I finally had to say, Jess, you know, this little baby's going to need more than pink dresses. And so I, had, I was a mom of four. I had a little bit of experience. And I had to teach her what she needed to get for this little baby that she was going to have. And that's one of the things that we do. Our clients come from different backgrounds, married or not, with one purpose, to help their little ones with material needs and to be better parents. We also provide online lessons for our moms who, uh, who have new babies until they're able to return in person. During our class, our moms watch a video and they fill out a worksheet that looks like this, which also has homework attached to it. Um, and we follow that, watching that video, with a discussion, talking about the worksheet and answering questions. This is a time that they can share with each other or ask questions of their mentor. After this, there's an opportunity. Oh, and before that, they also receive freedom funds. And I'll explain how they earn those. After this, they have the opportunity to shop in our boutique a beautiful shop that's filled with everything that they need, all donated by generous people. Our clients can buy diapers, wipes, formula, food, clothing, bottles, bedding, toys, books, and brand new car seats. One Freedom Fund, just one of these, can buy a pair of pants and a top, can buy 20 diapers, can buy a couple of books, shoes, toiletries, and for two or three, they can buy a really nice coat or jacket for their child. And we always have a bin or two of free items. Freedom funds can be earned by coming to class, doing the lesson, returning homework, taking their children to activities like story time at the library or vacation Bible school or mops, any activities that benefit their children. They also earn funds by learning weekly Bible verses, having dads attend, taking their little ones to well baby visits and for their own prenatal visits. We often receive testimonies from our moms of the many ways that Alpha has blessed them, and I'd like to share a few of them with you. This one is from Bridget. The pandemic was a tough time for my family and me. Because of our toddlers and schools being closed, my husband and I had to stay home and be totally cut off from work. Funds were really low, and so many times we would run out of basic necessities. I didn't realize Alpha was still open. I felt so happy one day when Janice called to check on how my family was holding up and offered to stay a few more hours so I could come to pick up some necessities. That singular gesture touched the deepest part of my heart. Knowing someone cared enough to check up on my family and me meant the whole world to me. My husband and I talked about this gesture all week long. Thank you so much for all you did for my family during the pandemic. God bless you all. And this one, if I can get my papers straight here, this one is from Nicole. Alpha has come into my life at a very critical moment. I first learned of Alpha when I was six months pregnant. I happened to come across a pamphlet on the sidewalk. I couldn't believe my eyes. A place that helps everyone. Usually you have to have a certain income or number of children. When I called, they made me an appointment, and I spoke to someone immediately. It felt good to have someone in my corner. 
I was on the waiting list for Earn While You Learn for quite some time, but I was accepted at a great time. I'd been off of work for three months and was finding it difficult to make ends meet. My first class, I was alone, and that made me feel very special. The instructor was so caring and non-judgmental. I've met new people, and my daughter is able to interact with other children. Alpha is truly a blessing. I didn't think that I was going to be able to survive financially through this summer. It is said that he, God, might not come when you want him to, but he always is right on time. I'm glad that Alpha has been able to offer my daughter and me so many things. And this one is from Helen. It has been a pleasure being part of the Alpha program. I'm so happy I found a place during the pandemic that offered and continues to offer in-person classes. I've been able to take away a lot of great lessons which have helped support me as, I, as a first-time mom. I'm so grateful to the people who give their time and effort to this special place. Although I do not always have financial needs, there have been many weeks where we are tight on money and being able to take formula, food, and clothes home for Spencer took a lot of stress off of my family and myself. And for that, I am so grateful. Thank you to Alpha. I hope you heard from these moms how important Alpha is to each one of them. God is using Alpha to change lives and give their children better lives. It provides a safe place for them to ask questions with the, and share things with each other. The most important part of Earn While You Learn for me is the relationships that have grown. I've had several clients for five to six years. I've had one client for seven years because she's had more than one child, and so she's a part of that program. Many stay until their little ones are three or four years old, and so they're there for four or five years. And many go on, after they've left Alpha, they go on to finish high school, they go on to college, some have become nurses, and we have supported them through all of those stages of their lives because we know that knowledge is empowering, and this is what help, how we help these moms. Beautiful friendships have grown between clients. When one of my clients had a miscarriage, the other ladies loved on her and prayed with her and cried with her. When one has a new baby, often they will use their own freedom funds to buy a gift for the, other, for the new mom. They call each other outside of class. They share ideas with each other for helping their children. And I know that these relationships are very precious. Equipping these moms and dads for parenting is one of our goals. Many of them have come from homes where they haven't had very good role models. So the lessons help them to be better parents. Shopping in our boutique helps them to learn to make good choices with their money, whether it's real money or alpha money. And very importantly, the Bible verses that they learn each week plant God's words in their heart. I had a Muslim client and I had a Hindu client, and each one of them learned verses every single week. And we know that the word, Bible tells us that God's word does not come back void, so God's gonna use that in their lives. We try to show God's love by treating them with dignity, with respect, by caring for them, by mentoring them, by loving them. God has supplied everything we need. Whenever we seem to be lacking supplies, somebody arrives at our door with a carload of donations, or a generous check arrives in the mail, or a church has a baby shower for us. You know, many of our clients have been only been given cast-offs, not so nice stuff. And so these lovely gifts make them feel very valued and very loved. We will not give a client anything that we would not put on our own children. And even during COVID, we were able to serve our clients. Our moms did their lessons online, and they either came in and shopped or we shopped for them. Happily, most of them are back in person. And we also, every Christmas, have a Christmas party for our Earn While You Learn clients. And the moms each receive a lovely gift, and each one of their children receives two brand new toys. And one mom commented that that year that was the only Christmas present her child got. So that was precious to her. The most important relationships we share is the one with Jesus Christ. We share the gospel, we pray with our moms and for our moms and for their little ones. We love and we serve a very generous God. He takes care of all of our needs, and we thank him that we can serve our clients so faithfully and generously. And I want to share one last thing. One of the fun things that we did this year was um, we had a group of 
students from one of our supporting churches and schools and from one of our co-ops. There were about 20 kids in each one of those groups, and they came to the center, um, kind of on a little field trip. And we had three stations for them. One station, they packed new, new mom gifts, or they put ribbons and tags on our baby bottles. The other station, they came into the Earn While You Learn room, and they saw what we do there, and they saw a little video of, one, of a couple of our babies. And the third station was they went into our sonogram room. We had a client who was 22 weeks pregnant, and she volunteered to let them see a real sonogram, a real live sonogram. Uh, my grandson happened to be in one of those groups, and when I asked him how it was, he said, oh, it was so much fun. And I said, what about the sonogram, Dylan? And he said, oh, nanny. He said, mm, almost makes me cry. He said, you could see their faces and their hands and their feet. And he said, but nanny, you could see that heart beating. And all I could think of was those 40 kids probably would never consider having an abortion. That will forever be imprinted in their minds that they saw a live baby with a real heartbeat. And so we counted that as a real blessing. Oh, I just want to share something with you. I'll show you that maybe you can't see this very well, but this was a letter that we received from one of those middle, these were middle school kids. And of course you can see this was from a girl with all the decorations with all little hearts and flowers on it. And she said, Dear Mrs. Bev, thank you so much for letting my class come to see this sonogram. It was really fun. I didn't know that the Alpha Pregnancy Center has classes where new moms can learn how to be better and to give better care for their babies and that they can get money to buy things for their babies. You do an awesome job taking care of moms and babies. I love how God shows himself to her, through growing a baby since so many things need to be right for the baby to live. It is incredible. Thanks for the cookies. They were good. <laughs> I'm so glad that we could help with the bottles. I can imagine how long it would have taken for you to do it. Sincerely, Harper. That's part of a little glimpse of what we do at Earn While You Learn. Back to you. Thank you, Sue. Um, as you can tell, we love our Earn While You Learn program. It's where we see young women just totally blossom when they're surrounded by love and care and encouragement and support. And as Sue said, we see these moms go on to finish their educations. We have several who become nurses. We have a numerous ones who've gone on to college. One of them now teaches down at Howard Community College. And we just see God work incredible, incredible miracles in their life. So it's, it's turned out to be one of the jewels in our crown as far as what we love to do at Alpha. And of course, the ultrasound machine, as we, I said earlier, saves lives. Um, Sue, I, I don't know. I, as I can recall, we've lost one baby in the past probably three years after the mother saw the ultrasound. Every other mom chose life. So um, God has worked in amazing ways at Alpha, and we thank you so much for letting, you share, letting us share them with you, and thank you because you play a huge part in this. All of the stories that you heard, all of the tales, all of the, the girls that have um, chosen life and then walked the talk, is th those stories belong to you. Uh, it's an, Alpha's not about me or about Sue or about our boy. Alpha's about all of us working together to make a difference for life. So Sue and I thought that you might enjoy seeing a couple of our Alpha's babies. So we brought you a video today. Um, it's lots of fun. The stars of the video are Isaac and Lily. They're two Alpha babies who became the bestest of friends doing Earn While You Learn classes. And Isaac and Lily are going to share their Alpha experience with you today. So I think Dave or Scott or somebody's ready with Isaac and Lily. Oh, Pastor Donnie, you've got the magic touch.
And all those other babies you saw in the pictures, those were also alpha babies. Just a few of the alpha photos that we have hanging all over our center. So I want to thank Pastor Donnie today for giving Sue and me the opportunity to share Alpha's ministry with all of you. If this is the first time you've heard about Alpha, we say, ask simply that you pray about if and where God might use you. We have lots and lots of opportunities for volunteering, not just counseling and mentoring. We have folks that help with our newsletter. We have people that work with the clothes and the donations that come in. We have some gal Fridays who come in and do just whatever needs to be done that week. So if you feel a little tug on your heart, do let us know, because we want to pray you into Alpha. And if you already serve at Alpha, give to Alpha, or pray for Alpha, we want to thank you from the depths of our heart for all that you do for our moms, for all that you do for our precious babies, but most important, for all that you do for the Lord, because together, as a, as a body, we're making a difference for life. I thank my God every time I remember you in all of my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Thank you. The part of this ministry that I fell in love with was there are lots of ministries that help mamas have an alternative to abortion, which I love. What I love about this ministry is how you heard how they walk with the mamas after, up to four years after the baby's been born. I just endeared me to this ministry. And so I was trying to think of a way that we could bless Alpha. Uh, we, we did the baby, baby bottles, which was great. We do blankets. And I just wanted to, was there another way? And so I was thinking like, what could we do? How could we help? And about a month ago, it clicked. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We have a Thanksgiving dinner every year here at Hope Chapel. Every year. It's wonderful. We have extended family, have friends, we have neighbors, and everybody comes, and we have a wonderful time together. But I thought, what if this year, what if this year, we took every person that came who was 12 years and older and we gave them the opportunity to bring a gift to Alpha. Specific gifts that they can really use and, 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 and birthday, I'm sorry, and Christmas presents for the little ones. So here's, here's my idea. In the hall, you will see 80 of these, which represents a place setting at our dinner. And on them is specific, I got books, uh, birth to four years, specific things for you to buy. Because you, when you hear, something like this, you hear something like this, you may think, well, I don't even know what to buy. That's okay. We figured it out for you. It's out on the wall. All you have to do is take your little cutout baby with you and go shopping for what's on it. Here's the best thing, men. <clears throat> you don't even have to wrap it. You just bring it. Go to the store, take your little baby cut out, go to the store, buy what's on it, bring it the night of Thanksgiving dinner together. And we will collect it and we will give it to Alpha. There's all kinds of things. There's books and puzzles and toys and just all kinds of things out there for you to choose from. So when you leave here this morning, take one for you, take one for anyone that will be coming with you so they know what to buy. And I'm, what I'm so excited about this is we have an opportunity to bring back Babies R Us. Yeah. We could pack this place. Because let me tell you, if you want to buy multiples, I don't think they'll be hurt. <laughs> but let's do this, church. Let's take our Thanksgiving dinner. Let's turn it out. And let's bless another ministry. Yeah. Let's do something for our community while we're celebrating, while we're thanking the Lord for all of his multiple blessings in our lives, let's give to another. So when you leave here today, don't forget, grab your little cutout, take it with you, shop, and bring it with you the night of Thanksgiving. Now, you may be sitting there thinking, what could one little birthday present do? I mean, in the U.S. alone, there were hundreds of thousands of aborted babies, literally like 620,000 in the U.S. this past year. And you think, what, 
what could one little cutout that I take, I mean, what difference does it really make? And I would agree with you if it wasn't for a fable, and many of you have heard this fable, but it's one of my favorites, where the little boy is walking on the beach and there's hundreds, if not thousands, of dying starfish on the beach. And every one he comes to, he picks it up and he throws it in the water. And he picks it up and he throws it in the water. He picks it up and he throws it in the water. And this guy walks up to him and says, son, what are you doing? He's like, I'm, I'm saving a starfish. He's like, there's hundreds, there's thousands of them. What possible difference could that make? What, what possible difference are you making? And the little boy looks up at him with a little grin on his face as he grabs a starfish and he says, it mattered to that one, and it mattered to that one, and he kept going down the beach. And I would say to you, that one matters. Just one. Would you stand with me this morning? I want to pray. I'm going to pray over Alpha. I'm going to ask us if we would join together. And, and Dave, I'm going to ask you, Dave, if you would come down, Terry, if you would bring Wanda. Yeah. We're going to ask you to stand in for your wife. Dave's wife and, and Wanda are uh, going to have surgery tomorrow, and we are going to pray for them. And I'm going to ask my brother here if he'd stand in for his wife. And uh, that's already a testimony of God. She's walking already. But would you just agree with me as we lift these two ladies up in prayer, and we're going we're gonna to pray for Alpha this morning as well. Father God, Lord, we lift Kathy to you. Father, we ask that you would touch her and heal her. Lord, you give the, the doctors wisdom and clarity as they're doing the procedures that they do, that all would go well, and it would be miraculous in the way that she heals and how quickly she's back on her feet. And Lord, we, we just completely give her to you. And Father, I ask that you would bless Wanda, Lord, as she goes in for hip surgery, Lord, that as, as the doctors, again, perform the, 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 the processes and the surgeries, all the things that need to be done, Lord, we just ask that you would guide them and direct them, Lord, that this dear lady would no longer be in pain, but would be relieved, and she would know that it would be a testimony to you of what's been done in her body, Lord, because you are God and you are the great physician. And so we ask that you would be with her, comfort her. Lord, in both of these ladies, I ask for peace and a quieting of their heart that they know that you are God and you are holding them through this entire procedure, Lord. And we will give you the glory and the honor for all that is done in their lives. Father, we lift Alpha to you. Lord, we ask that you would move in this ministry, that you would protect this ministry, that the, that the enemy comes against it would be stifled and removed, Lord, that they would continue to thrive in all that they're doing, that baby after baby and mama after mama would be ministered to, and that hundreds of babies would be saved, Lord, and mamas would, would learn that, that you love them and that there's, there's another way, Father. Lord, we ask your blessing on this ministry. Jesus, we love you. Holy Spirit, we thank you for dwelling with us. And God, we give you all the glory and honor for all that is done. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. amen.